Jeff <laughs> Bezos, who's been, you know, people have talked about Bezos because now that Amazon is in the football broadcasting, or I should call it streaming business, and a lot of times during these Thursday night games, you might see that Bezos is at the game. You've even seen like Goodell sitting with Bezos. Can you imagine Jeff Bezos? The commissioner calls him and goes, hey, Jeff, um, commander's available and great market. And doesn't Bezos, as I understand, doesn't Bezos own the Washington Post newspaper? Post, yes. Yeah. So if, if you're Jeff Bezos and you want to buy an NFL football team because you want to be in the NFL business because you're already in the business of streaming with the NFL and you own the newspaper in Washington, the, the paper of record, right? The commanders are the organization that maybe makes the most sense for Jeff Bezos. Could you imagine Goodell calling Bezos and going, now listen, it's going to take $6 billion. I know that the money's not really the issue, but Snyder wants to have like 35% of the franchise. Jeff Bezos would be like, dude, I don't want anything to do with Dan Snyder. No. Dan Snyder Zero. is toxic. Mm -hmm. Dan Snyder is cancellation. Okay. I don't want anything to do with him, the way he ran the franchise, the accusations, the realities, the federal investigations. I want nothing to do with Daniel Snyder or his wife. I'll buy the whole thing for $6 billion and kick him out. Yeah, Basil's probably going, I'll give you seven. I'll raise the value of every other NFL franchise if I overpay that much. And he's now blacklisted, Dan Snyder. You can't, he will never be mentioned here ever again. He's not going to get a suite. He's not going to get season <laughs> tickets. He's not no. going to get anything. He's gone because he's that toxic. And once he sells this team, That's more it. and more stuff will come out about Dan Snyder. He's once, being protected right he, now. Right. Once he's out of their hair, the floodgates will open because now he has no leverage within inside the actual organization to threaten people. Like at this point, they can then just brush him to the side, regardless of what he says, because the news cycle is controlled by the NFL and the sports world. So where are you going to take a story? Can CNN? I also like, throw a, like a counterpoint to the Bezos? Because Bezos has popped up in Carolina and Denver. Okay. So if you're an NFL owner and you got Dan Snyder and you know he sucks, you know he's never going to get you a winning product. You don't, you never, you know he's kind of cheap. And you, like attention goes to him. Do you really want a powerful dude like Bezos to come in and disrupt what you got? Like if you're, like if you're Jerry Jones and Stan Kroenke and Robert Kraft, like the 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 three headed monster of who maybe runs this league, do you really want to have a dude like Bezos come in with an infinite pool of money to have that much power, or do you just want like another kind of nameless group like just bought in in Denver that'll just well, no, go with but the that's ride? That's not a nameless group. Oh, wait, 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 now that's not a nameless group that just bought Denver. Those the Walmart. That's Walmart who just bought Denver. They're not nameless I at all. Was They're Walmart. just new. Or is it well, Kroenke, yeah. Kroenke's married to Walmart, and right. yes. and and it was I don't remember which Walton brother bought the Broncos, or at least leads the group that now owns the Broncos. But it's it is one of the Waltons, and they are the Walmart people. Right. But, but if you're a billionaire, what I'm saying is it's not like a nameless. Everyone's going to have some sort of name if you've got that much money to buy. What I'm saying is influence, power, the the want to win. Like there, I think the NFL owners like having guys like Snyder and Spanos around because they're not going to be very competitive. They're well, still going to bring you in money. Well, the other part of it is, the other part of your question is, would other NFL owners want Bezos? Now that Bezos and Amazon are being paid by the league a billion dollars for streaming rights, and let me rephrase it, the way Amazon buys the rights from the league, the question would be, is it a conflict in any way that we're in business with you over here, but now you're one of us, and now when we have to negotiate the rights deal between Amazon and the NFL, you own a team and you own Amazon and the streaming and all this other stuff and all of our money. I mean, is yeah, it too there's complicated? There's definitely a conflict of interest there too because then Bezos is going to tell their Amazon employees like, hey, you're going to talk about us a lot. You're going to you, you use it as a platform. There's no way but around isn't that. But isn't that every business? I think the – the only issue with this is he would have to find a way of creating a third party that negotiates the payment for the rights that he has nothing to do with. Because other than that, you cannot have a team owner negotiating the price of television rights. That just that doesn't make any sense. So I, I, I don't think Jeff Bezos will buy the – I think he's going to buy the Chargers when they become available. I don't think he's going to buy the, the not Redskins. Well, I, I, but but again, I'm much, just putting too much too, around too, it. Two and two together. You own the newspaper in town. 
Mm -hmm. The team is now available. Mm -hmm. You can promote the team through the paper if it's still a big thing. Um, and you've got this rights deal with the NFL. I mean, I don't know. It just seems to make a lot of sense to throw Bezos' name right into it.